All right, in this lesson, we're gonna tackle some sounds that you might hear in maybe R&B or gospel music. Um, I've done a lot of gospel sessions in my time doing this thing, uh, this guitar thing, and um, I picked up a lot of ideas, not just from other guitar players, but from keyboard and organ players. Um, there's a couple, well, there's, a, there's many, but we're just gonna sort of highlight a couple different concepts, moves, um, embellishments, things like that to, uh, to just, just slightly scratch the surface of what this style of, of guitar and harmony is all about. Um, so you're going to hear a lot of diminished chords, you're going to hear a lot of minor six chords, um, some double stops, some nice kind of turnarounds, um, things like that. So I wrote this little etude, so to speak, um, that kind of highlights a couple of these things. And so I'll just kind of maybe show you a couple of them uh, before we just dig into the track totally and then I break that down. So um, you might even hear some kind of contrapuntal ideas. Kind of stuff like that, which we might dig into. That just means the bass note's doing one, moving in one way while the melody note is moving in another. Sometimes they move in the same direction. They're moving parallel in that case, right? Um, turnarounds like this. Which is just sort of an interesting way of going in your bass line. Put the whammy bar away. <laughs> it's sort of become a thing every time I sort of play chords like this. But um, I think probably the best way to sort of dive into this is, first of all, I would just start listening to gospel music. <laughs> start at the beginning, go through as much modern stuff as you'd like, um, go to a church on a Sunday and check it out and listen to how the organ player is voicing stuff. It's really, really beautiful stuff. Um, you know, movements. A lot of like slash chords. Right? So you have a triad, for example, you have an E triad over G sharp, an F sharp triad over A sharp, an E triad over B, kind of stuff like that. A A minor triad over C, an E triad over D. A lot of triads, a lot of inversions. So I think probably what we'll do is I'll just kind of dig into this track and then dissect it for you. a bit of an excursion into some different uh, kind of gospel voicings that I picked up along the way. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a traditional type of thing in any way, but there's some kind of uh, typical harmonic qualities to, to what you just heard. Uh, typical as far as it pertains to traditional gospel music. So let's look at some of these chords. I'm going to turn off the delay and uh, get started. So I think we talked about this earlier in the lesson, but it starts off with this move. 
which is like a two, four, three, four, five in the key of E. The two chord is diminished. So it's like an F sharp diminished chord. Now we have a E over G sharp, then an A minor six. There are a lot of those minor four chords, right? A is the four of E, so. And then a B over E to finish it off, okay? So, one more time. And I'm voicing my diminished chord like this. Followed by the E, the A minor six, and then another E. So again, we have those inversions, right? As you'll hear this too. Right, a lot of inverting involved in what we're gonna be doing right now. Uh, so that has how we start. Now some movement here. This is a A major chord but I'm gonna keep an open A in the bottom. Play the seven and the three. And move down. That's kind of like an, it's, a, it's an organ move, but it's also like an old school, like kind of jazz guitar, Joe Pass kind of thing. So it hints at a seventh chord there before it ends up on like a six chord, basically major six chord. And then we have this little move. which is really just this melody that I harmonized. So A flat or, or G sharp minor, A major six, B five, E major nine. We did that shape already, right? Now this triad comes from A minor, A minor six. There it is again. Right? Just another inversion of that. Over E, it sounds really nice. Sort of hints at that melodic minor feel, right? Okay, so where are we at? Now, F sharp. Here's a real typical move. Sort of like F sharp, minor seven to a minor six. Here's that E over G again. I just extended, put an F sharp on top. More minor six. A minor six with an extension, right? So you end up with this sound. So. We just took this shape, moved it up a whole step, right? So then we have F sharp over A sharp. Then back to, you can kind of think of that as like a minor major 13 chord maybe. This cool little double stop thing. E. This is like an F sharp seven. And then this cool little diminished walk up to a C sharp minor chord. So there's our melody. And the bottom is playing that, and I did it in double stops. All right. Now here's a little counterpoint thing I worked out. So we have C sharp minor, uh, C diminished. E triad, right? I'll do that slow because it's kind of tricky. And if you're watching my right hand, I'm doing a lot of this with like alternate, or I'm not alternate picking, but hybrid picking, Travis picking. There's our little melody to get to the, get the B. And then some more triads. That's just the E major scale harmonized. So, more melody. Whoops, sorry. There's that E 
over D. Two, this could be like a C major six chord, or I would like to think of it as like an A minor six over C. Or C major 13, maybe you want to call it. E over B. B7, B9 rather. E. And then... That's a fun little double stop kind of thing to finish off your, your track there, right? So really it's like, you're kind of thinking like E flat, C sharp, or, or actually D sharp, C sharp, back to E. You want to add the rest of the voicing? Think of it over B, right? Oops. So E sharp over B, I guess. <laughs> A over C sharp. Back to D sharp over B, or B over D sharp. To E. It's hard to explain that even. <laughs> this looks pretty simple to do. Um, so there's the track. Uh, I'm going to play a game for you. All right, so in the next scene, we're gonna practice this together.